Hello everyone! Uh, Chess24 tweeted about this game and I couldn't resist not doing a video on it, as it's played between a husband and wife in round one of a tournament held in Armenia, it's called the Tsagador, Tsagador Open, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, uh, but before I show you the game, uh, I would like to thank uh, Kristaps Murmanis, uh, Felix Knotter and Dame Pletvarec for a contribution to my channel, thank you a lot, I really appreciate it, as I forgot to update my interface uh, in the previous video. So, that being said, uh, the game is played between Alexander Hilario Takeda Sakai dos Santos Fier. And that certainly does sound like royalty, but uh, he's, a, he's a Brazilian uh, with a German-Japanese descent. So I guess it's a mixture of uh, all of these. And uh, he's, uh, he's quite a strong player. He's rated around 2550. Uh, in 2005 he won the Brazilian Chess Championship. He won a lot of uh, junior championships when he was younger. Uh, he participated uh, in the World Cup four times. Uh, in the in 2011, uh, he won in the first round, but uh, got eliminated in the second round by Alexander Morozovic. And uh, in 2013, he defeated uh, Radoslav Wojtasek in round one. Uh, you all know the great Radek. Uh, but he got eliminated by Baskaran Ariban in round two. And uh, I always want to mention this, but I always forget. Uh, I really uh, started liking Baskaran Ariban. Uh, from that Tata Steel tournament in January uh, when he played against Wesley So with the white pieces. And the game started e4, e5, and the Baskaran Adiban played f4, the King's Gambit, and I was like, that's that's how you play chess. I mean, King's Gambit against a 2800 player, that's, that's, uh, that's what I like. And the game ended in a draw, but it was uh, very exciting nonetheless. So I will definitely have to do a video or two about Baskaran Adiban. Uh, but getting back to the game, uh, Alexander is playing against his wife, Nino Maisuradze. And uh, Nino is a Georgian chess women grandmaster, and she's also a two times a women's uh, a French champion. And, uh, well, uh, uh, it's a very interesting game because it features the bird opening. Uh, so let's see this game. Uh, we have f4 by Nino and e5. This is the, the standard Fromm's Gambit. Uh, F captures on e5, d6, you capture the second pawn, accepting it, uh, e captures on d6, now bishop captures on d6, and the knight to f3. And here we have g5, the Lasker variation of the bird's opening. Uh, g3, g4, kicking the knight, uh, knight to h4, and we have knight to e7. Uh, d4, knight goes to g6 now, knight captures, h captures, now, the rook has an open h-file, and it's pretty obvious that uh, that Nino will not castle kingside in this game. Uh, queen to d3, and immediately bishop to f5. Uh, Alexander is very aggressive. Uh, e4 now, and queen to e7, pinning uh, the e4 pawn. Uh, bishop to g2, defending the pawn, and now knight to c6. Uh, queen to e3, unpinning uh, from the bishop, and also preparing maybe to push e5 in some variations. Uh, bishop back to d7, uh, we have uh, bishop to d2, and rook to h5 now, <clears throat> the rook is entering the game. Uh, knight to c3, uh, knight to b4 now, with ideas of uh, capturing on c2 if Nino blunders, and uh, also pushing c5. Uh, we have a queenside castle, and c5 now, and okay, it seems like uh, black does have some counterplay here, uh, but white is definitely better. Uh, e5 now. Uh, bishop to c7, and now knight to e4, with ideas of knight to f6, uh, forking the king and the rook on h5. Uh, and here we have a... It's it's hard to say what is what is black's best move here. Uh, nothing, nothing really seems to work. Uh, in this position, Alexander played c captures on d4. And okay, this does have a tempo on the queen, uh, but the problem is uh, this loses the game instantly after queen to b3, which was played in the game. Uh, now Nino is attacking this uh, knight on b4 with the queen and with the bishop uh, on d2. And also the threat of knight to f6 check uh, is still there. So it's better to give up the exchange than a piece. Knight to c6 was played and now uh, queen captures on b7 before knight f6 check. Uh, now threatening the rook on a8 and the bishop on c7. So you can't uh, play rook b8 uh, to gain a tempo on the queen because the bishop is hanging. You have to play rook to c8. And now comes knight to f6 with check. Forking the king and the rook, uh, king to d8 was played. Uh, and now not capturing the rook, but uh, there is a much better move. Capturing the rook is also winning for white, but uh, you know you have to play the best move. 
uh, knight captures on b7 and this is now completely lost for black you can't really capture the knight uh, if you capture simply bishop captures on c6 you lose another piece uh, it's uh, n nothing for black here uh, capturing with the king uh, leads to the same uh, after bishop captures on c6 this is with the check so even worse uh, so after knight captures on d7 knight captures on e5 was played uh, knight captures on e5 rook captures on e5 and now uh, rook h to e1 and in this position uh, alexander hilario takeda sakai dos santos fier resigned the game uh, as he is down a piece uh, it's pretty pointless uh, to continue this game uh, whatever black plays a white uh, white doesn't even have to try white is winning by force in many variations uh, so uh, let's just show one for example f6 uh, defending the rook uh, after rook captures f captures and uh, rook to f1 uh, it's it doesn't matter what black plays here any move black plays uh, for example a6 uh, rook to f8 check wins by force uh, the rook has to be captured and after bishop to g5 check you have to give up the queen or you're getting checkmated so queen to e7 is only move giving up the queen but this is uh, pretty much same as resigning but if you play something like king to d7 then queen to c6 is checkmate uh, and if you try something like king to e8 this is this also leads to a force checkmate queen c6 check uh, king f7 queen f6 check uh, king g8 queen capture g6 check king h8 queen h5 check king g7 uh, queen h6 check now king g g8 G and now bishop does come into play with tempo bishop d5 check uh queen has to block and now for example bishop to f6 and it's mate in one whatever black plays uh, if he captures still queen here on g7 is checkmate if even if the queen stays there queen g7 is checkmate because the queen is pinned so definitely definitely an interesting game uh, i appreciate uh, chess 24 for tweeting this uh, like i said i really couldn't resist making a video on this game uh, so that's the game i do hope you enjoyed it uh, and what do you think happened here uh, did uh, did uh, nino really crush alexander that hard or or are you one of those people maybe who think that uh, subconsciously alexander didn't want to sleep on the couch tonight uh, either way, either way, a wonderful game uh, in the birds opening and the Lasker variation. So uh, that's it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, once again, I would like to thank Kristaps Murmanis, uh, Felix Knotzer, and Dame Pletvares for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope to see you all tonight in the stream. The stream starts in uh, some, I think, nine hours uh, from the point uh, of making this video. And uh, yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you soon.